Hello everybody, welcome back to another hack. A um, couple of interesting notes on this radio. First is that there is another model that Radio Shack made to be more unhackable, I guess, to say. Um, it is hackable, <coughs> however, it'll only sweep on the FM band, not on the AM, and you would have to hold the button down. So, we don't want that one. And the way to tell is, real quick, turn around to the back. You're going to count one, two, and three, three screws. We never count the antenna because we never mess with it. Okay, then you're going to notice right here this black label. And let me zoom in and it's going to tell you all the information about the radio. And you notice it says 20 125. The other model is going to be like a 002125 all together. So, and this model, if you lift the tab up, has new writing and it has this number down here, which is the date when it was produced. And the other model will have this information imprinted right here on the radio. And then it's going to have four screws in each corner. That is the model that we do not want. We want this model. Three screws, black label, and no writing. So keep that in mind when you buy it. Like eBay, you'll find a lot of people sell the other model and claim it as this model. And they'll never show you a picture of the back. So, keep that in mind when you buy them. Alright. So, if you recognize this radio, um, we showed the hack in our magazine that we released in January. And I showed how to hack it in the pictures and description. And then I put pictures of the version you don't want. So... You can go to the uh, Facebook page, Paranormal Energy Norway, um, find the link for the magazine, and uh, download it. It's free, and then you can look at the pictures if you don't like the video. Okay, so let's hear what she sounds like. So, we do the scan. And as you see, it doesn't make any sound while it's scanning. So, we need to fix that. Okay. Alright, so as you see, as a little radio, it's pretty nice sounding and everything. Um, it's a very desirable model uh, radio to do spirit box communication. And also from my experience and from hearing from others, the spirits really love it. Um, from what I hear and experience, it is uh, very manipulative by the spirits. Very easy. So that's why they like it. So I get good communication with this radio. It's one of the second best. Uh, the 12587 obviously is the king of spirit boxes. And good luck finding an original one with a pin on that one. But anyway, enough about that radio. Let's go ahead and get this radio hacked and using. So, alright, let's get started. Alright, so we're going to begin by opening her up. The battery case. And removing the batteries. And as I always say, this is the first thing we do. Because we don't want to fry any electronics. So, take the three AA batteries out. And if you look inside, no screws or anything. So, that leaves us to these screws. So, let's go ahead and uh, remove these screws. Alright, there you have it. One, two, and three screws removed. Alright, so I ran my fingers along the seams here, did a little work, 
and we want to remove the top not the bottom there's no need to do that <coughs> so slowly pry it open as you see this we'll have to slowly pry it open as you see the speaker wire is there so twist it around and there you have it the breadboard removed so just the three screws and then pop the case and make sure you don't remove the bottom okay the next step is right in here if you can see the tiny little tabs right there that are holding the breadboard in all right let me drop down and those tabs right there those hold the breadboard in so you got two there and two there so we're gonna go ahead and remove that and then get to where we need to go to so let me go ahead and remove those right now and just a little secret to make removing the bedboard easier if you can see right here and here are stuck underneath with the tabs here and that if you take a small exacto knife and just gently pop it out then the breadboard will pop out no problem and all that and then you can remove the bottom one now when you go to remove it it's going to seem a little tough because I'll show you here in a second twist it around if you look down in there the ribbon is holding this in right now so let's just move her up like that I like to take a screwdriver and then I just uh, pop it open like that to hold it up so you have plenty of light like that and then if you can see there's our ribbon that we want so, all right let's uh, get to our next step Alright, so as you can see, there is our ribbon. And that's what we want. Now, if you count the ridges from the right, the right hand side, if you're facing it, it's going to be seven from the right. So remember that, seven from the right. Make sure you count it. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark the line that I want cut with a marker and that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that All right. so as you can see I took my red marker I counted seven from the right and marked my line so what I'm gonna do is cut on either each side of the red line of towards the ridge there and then I will cut that it makes it easier I'm gonna split them from the two and then cut it so let's go ahead and do that now all right as you can see what i did is i cut on each side and stuck my exacto knife inside now what i'm gonna do is take a pair of these and then i'm gonna get in there and i'm gonna go ahead and cut the line and then we see what we got so let me go ahead and do that As you can see, uh, I made a small cut, and now we cut our line. So let me clean that up, and then let's go ahead and put this case back together. All right, I have went ahead and cleaned up the line. I trimmed them up and uh, made sure they can't touch each other because you don't want them to short up. All right, so go ahead and remove our screwdriver. And then we'll go ahead and hold it on here. So, and then go ahead and put the breadboard back together. And that. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right. So as you can see, we popped our board back. Uh, one crucial piece of evidence 
see these buttons here you want to make sure that we line them up just right uh, during the move sometimes they uh, come loose and that so we want to make sure they're back in place right and then fall down all right so we got the case uh, the breadboard back in now let's go ahead and and pop the case back on just line her up and slowly pop her in make sure we got everything and just lined up right so there you go we got it closed up turns on Alright, so let's flip her over and replace our three screws. It tightened in there. We got our batteries in there. Let's go ahead and pop the case. Or the battery cover in there. Flip her on over. And see what we got here. Let's see if we did this right. Alright, we got power. Alright, let's uh, test her out and see how she sounds. That's the AM radio. Got the uh, FM. All right. So there you have it. The Radio Shack 2125. All right. Thank you very much.